What's up, Trail Junkies? If we take that to Powder Mill Trail, that'll take us down to the Powder Mill Arch, which maybe I should go check that out right now. Let's do it. Let's check it out. slow down. I'm already starting to warm up a little bit and I'm going downhill. I know one thing, it's going to be fun climbing back up that. <laughs> Definitely good water sources down here. Yeah, real good water sources. We're going to go to our right once you hit these water sources. That's one huge sinkhole, limestone sinkhole. About the closest I'm gonna get. And there's actually another one right on the other side. Right there. But uh, I think I may be close. Well, there you are. I might be close to this arch. All right, we'll keep, we'll keep exploring. Checking out new lands, new trails, new areas. Beautiful, beautiful little waterfall. Well, we'll take it down. We'll take it down a little bit further. See if we can find, I'm just, you know, trying to find a trail, an off trail or something. It could take me to this arch. I don't know. I'm just exploring. I'm wandering. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll hike it a little bit further. If not, I'll just head back and head back up and go with the game plan, which is, uh, Blackburn Vista, hang out that area and just uh, chill. But uh, we'll keep walking for a little bit. Oh yeah, look what I found.
Pretty Great. awesome. Powder mill arch. Found ya. All right, mission accomplished. All right, gang, found it. The trail leads off right after that last little creek crossing. I'll show you when I get back there. But I'm like three miles from where I parked my vehicle, you know, by the cemetery, three miles right here on the, uh, on the, what trail are we on? <laughs> off the Powder Mill Trail. So there we go, that's the creek. Saw me jump earlier and it's just right here. So you just hike the little trail down to this creek and you'll come through this fallen looks like beech tree an old beech tree and then you just uh just right up there man that is where uh that's where powder mills arch is all right and i was about ready to just uh, blow it off and just head back because i figured heck another half mile i'll be at the trailhead so but i kept on and glad because i found it that's the uh, you know it's you'll notice it which I did. I was like, well, that's, you know, that's unusual. <laughs> that's that's got to be it. So I just walked down it, and there it was. Boom. Shice, <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'll probably uh, put the camera away for a little bit until we get back to the Hatton Ridge uh, Road, or the Hatton Ridge Trail, or Road 165. And uh, I'll catch you when we get back there, man. All right, so walk out. Walk on. So walk out. Almost there. Stopped at that last water source and uh, filled up my ganok. What a ganok. I filled up my ganok. And because uh, I don't know if there's going to be any water up the vista, I'm going to go. But I haven't swapped out shirts again before I can make this ascent out of this uh, gorge. Get to the top of it. I was like, I knew I was going to be burning up. I got. Cause it's uh, a lot of straight up shots there. <laughs> it goes up, it goes up. So instead of, uh, you sitting here listening to me breathe at me, put the camera down once again and we'll catch you at the top. All right, walk on man, walk up. What's up man, I'm still here. I ever tell you how much I love my Z-Pack R call? I love it, but yeah. And it looks a load very nicely. I love it. I love the arc in my arc hall. Prints my back from getting all uh, sweaty. Everybody wants to go frameless backpack, lightweight. I personally, myself, I don't know, don't like a pack rubbing up against my back. <laughs> you know, I love that airflow. Yeah, I don't like my pack rubbing up against my back. And, you know, if you do, you know, all the power to it. There's some cool. Cool, really nice frameless backpacks out here. Oh yeah, I've looked at a couple of them. But right now, my Z-Pack Arc Hall rocks. And I don't look to be giving it up anytime here soon. Now maybe, now I would do a frameless small one for like a day hike, you know. But as far as loads and stuff, no, nah. I'll stick with my Z-Pack. There we go. Back on the road. Woo! Powder mill. All right. Let's sound this. <laughs> Let's head down this way. And uh, what's up? What's that bluff we're looking for? What's it called? Onward to the Blackburn Vista. Welcome. Well, I just might <laughs> just might. <laughs> All right, I just hiked uh, about a mile too far, so I'm backtracking. I guess the switch off to the Vista is uh, only like maybe a two eighths of a mile, you know, three thousand feet, thirty five hundred feet away from that trail sign. 
So, yeah, hiked entirely too far. Heck, I was almost into Tennessee. Anyways, all right, so here we go. Back down. See, see in a little bit. My brain would have clicked a little earlier. I could have my camp set up by now. But oh well, here we go, here's the trail. So we'll follow this trail. And uh, we'll catch you in a little bit. It's like I'm gonna have a sunset. I'm set up for a sunset. I fall down in a crevice. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. <laughs> Mom, Sarah, guys, I love you. All right, I'm safe. Where you at, man? Well, this is home for the night. I'm gonna get to uh, get busy here. Got things uh, rigged up so I can just uh, chill up here on this rock. That's down there. All right. Enough of you on this side. Set up. It's gonna be me here. Just a couple minutes. Walk on.